I am sitting out in the garden. This is one of the first garden beds that I'm planting this year, and I've got a flat full of snapdragon seedlings ready to go in. You know what held me up for a second here? Spacing. Um, this year I am consciously making a decision to go from square spacing to triangular spacing. It makes it so that you can fit more plants into a smaller area and still maintain precise spacing in between each individual plant. And so I was, <laughs> I was looking online for printable planting templates that aren't just square foot gardening templates. I was looking specifically for triangular um, on center gardening templates and could not find one for nine inches and really was letting that bother me for a second and then it hit me sweetie pie this is what math is for <laughs> this is why we have math <laughs> all you have to do is figure out how far apart each of your rows should be um, based on the di the height of an equilateral triangle because what you're looking for is exact nine inch spacing between each plant or whatever spacing you're looking for and that exact spacing between each plant forming triangles so of course you're working with equilateral triangles all you're going to do is um, a quick little formula which I am just going to be honest I did not re remember this off the top of my head high school was so long ago <laughs> but that's what the internet is for um, I looked it up and it's so easy all you're going to do to figure out how far apart your rows should be for triangular spacing is um, this simple formula. The spacing apart between your plants, which in this case is 9 inches, so put in the number 9, the star symbol for multiplied by, uh, square root of 3, you could just write that right out in words, square root of 3, and then a slash for divided by 2, and that gives you your answer. In this case, rounded to the nearest tenth, that's 7.79, um, and so basically 8 inches, uh, which works, 8 inches works well, uh, rounding it up to the closest inch to fit in a 10 foot long row. That's not always the case, just multiply the inches for the length of your bed by whatever that row spacing is that you get and find out, you know, if that makes sense to round to the closest um, tenth of an inch or not. Say we're doing six inch spacing. Same idea. All you're going to do is um, six times the square root of three divided by two, and it gives you 5.2. Anyway, math for you. It's so easy. All you're going to do is plant your nine inch spaced apart seedlings nine inches apart in the first row. Measure down eight inches or 7.79 if you like. Um, center the next row of seedlings exactly in the middle between the first row and then for the third row measure down your eight inches again and line up the seedlings with the ones that you planted in row number one repeat that pattern all the way down and you've got equilateral triangular spacing fitting as many seedlings as possible in your bed with uh, perfect spacing between each plant all right took me a second to remember that math sometimes just makes things so much easier. Um, I'll put the equation down in the show notes and if you've got any questions leave them down there too. All right I am going to get back to planting some snapdragon seedlings. Take care we'll see you soon.